trying to put it side of the cage. Raymond with a backhander, and that's shrugged away by Tanner Gillette. Turns over the mod line, three on two. Long shot, tipped on goal, saved by Gillette anyway. But now Rassel tries to turn around shot from the high slot. That's on the stick, still loose in front. Riley Point is robbed point blank by Tanner Gillette. And he- in Red Deer, uh, I was like little tykes hockey. I had to play player, but every time it was my turn to play goalie, I was just so excited to. Every time the coach would ask, I'd want to. And when I put them on, I knew immediately I wanted to be a goalie, and there was no no other options for me. Cutting to the right, hash marks, Venucci angles in front, poof, checked by Gillette! I basically had to work at everything. Nothing really came ultimately super easy to me. Everything was a learning experience. Angling to the left wing, left hash marks, McGravy cuts in front, fires, pad save! Tanner Gillette! Yeah. My route through minor hockey wasn't the easiest. You know, I got cut from some of the the top teams, which was obviously frustrating and didn't like it, but looking back, it was probably the best thing that could have happened because playing on those weaker teams, I was able to get 60 shots a game and I was able to grow as a goalie and as a person and then ultimately shape me into the goalie I am today. In uh, Lloyd Minister, we played them. I don't remember the score. We won, and then uh, Gordon Kex talked to me after the game. We stayed an extra day to watch uh, them play uh, Red Deer Midget Triple A's. That was the first time I saw them play, and uh, we spoke to Tanner after that game, and then uh, just kind of followed along and pursued them until we were able to sign them. And I had honestly didn't even know where Fort McMurray was or anything like that. And then so I went home and kind of Googled them a bit. I'm like, yeah, that. Sounds like a fun place to go. He's a nice kid. Uh, I was very thankful for the opportunity to talk to a junior team and uh, seemed very polite, um, seemed very interested. Uh, you know, he didn't, uh, he made us sweat a little bit. He didn't uh, tell us right then that he was interested in coming to Fort Mac. They were basically the only team that talked to me and wanted me to come play for them, so it was basically an easy choice for me to come up here. I watched him. I was uh, post to post, he was extremely quick. Uh, and just a, a goalie that let the puck hit him. Uh, he, you know, he didn't make any uh, outstanding stops, but he made everything look so easy that that was probably the first thing that I kind of went, wow, this, this kid's got some ability. best team I've ever played, played on. They, we were just, we were unreal basically. And we were so relaxed all the time. We had a, kind of a silent confidence that we, we knew we were gonna win every game. And I just tried to give uh, the team a chance to win every game. And it just, it just worked out that way that those, the numbers came the way they did. The big change for Tanner, frankly, is he's become more of an outgoing person. Um, he was a very quiet kid when he got to the hockey team. He barely spoke for the first three months. And uh, he's become more of a leader in terms of talking, uh, in terms of being a good teammate. And that rubs off on guys. You know, the more that guys like you, the better they're going to play in front of you. I figured uh, making the team last year was, was the easy part, but proving I deserve to be here is going to be the hard part. He's a lot better this year than he was last year, but there's still uh, room to grow. And, um, you know, I think that he can be, I've said it to scouts, I think he's one of the best prospects in this league right now. Uh, and he's only going to get better as he, as he ages. Uh, your favorite NHL team growing up? Growing up was the Colorado Avalanche. Is it still? No. Who is it now? It's Montreal because of Carey Price. So Carey Price is your number one goalie? He's my number one goalie, yeah. Why is that? Uh, his, his style, he's so composed and relaxed. That's what I like to, to mimic. Are there goalies from the past, whether in current style or in their development arc, that you would compare Tanner to? Uh, Rob Nolan was actually a goaltender. It's very similar, uh, maybe not in style, uh, although the, there are some similarities there. But uh, Rob was a kid that came to us with uh, maybe a bit of a checkered background in terms of he struggled at a few locations, then got here and really settled down. After his first year, he just kept getting better and better and then ended up going to Michigan Tech on a full scholarship when he was 20. And Tanner's path is very reminiscent of Rob's.